you guys catch my tweet that's like for me it just kind of i had to end up muting the conversation because like, there was so much interaction in it that i just couldn't keep up but i tweeted something to the likes of the padres are not as good as the dodgers it's simple but most likely if you want to dream big and talk about world series that's the team you're gonna have to beat most likely and now everybody that replied that didn't agree with me kept bringing up well the dodgers are chokers we know that the dodgers are this we know that and the dodgers are this we know that and it's like yeah dude i get it and i and i am not i think people thought that i was saying the padres are not a good team listen i'm all aboard i got the fever it's 103 padres fever is for real but what are we in the playoffs? We don't know yet. Like, so I don't understand why like everyone's all like, well, we know the Padres are chokers. Well, what are we? We're four and 10 against or four and six against the Dodgers this season in 10 games. They've proven. And then everybody's like, well, we don't have fam. Tatis is slumping. We don't have Hosmer. We had him earlier when Tatis was on fire and Hosmer was there and we're four and six on the season. Like, I'm not saying we're a bad team, but we're not there at their level yet. That's all I keep saying. And this was the measuring stick. That proved it again. You're not as good as that team yet. You. This was a great series for the Padres. I'll explain. What? I'll explain why. You came in knowing you had to beat them to overtake the division. You came out fighting. You came out feisty. You made a little. You made a run to make it one to one, and then you ran away with that game. Then they got serious with you, and it didn't go your way. I'll tell you this. <laughs> This is <laughs> then they got serious with you and it didn't go your way. So, so just to be clear, the Dodgers came in, they weren't serious with you. They, they just, Hey, look, you're the cute little Padres. We're the big, bad Dodgers. We we're not taking you seriously, but then you beat us. You stared at us. You disrespected us. You, you, you had us blow up in one inning. You know what? Now we're going to take you seriously and we're going to beat you back down and it's not going to go well for you. Is that what you're saying? Yes, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good series for the Padres. But, but here's. But, but here, it's a good series for the but, Padres. But here's the, see, here's the silver lining. Yeah, go ahead. You had a chance to win every one of those games. Fair you, do you, I mean, at least game 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 two, surely. Yeah. Game three, not so much, really. I mean, anytime you get Jansen on the mound, you got a chance to win. You got a chance. Guy, to win. I, I don't know you, man. why they keep running him out, but baby, long as he keep running it in the ninth inning, you got a chance because this man will load the bases up for you like it's a courtesy. I I like the fact that they had an opportunity. You can say what you want about game three. The bullpen starting the game, Paddock not playing. You can you can slice it up however you want to slice it up. They had an opportunity to win every one. Huh? Paddock not playing was, I think, a good thing. I mean, they purposely made him not pitch yesterday because how the Dodgers have been lighting it up this season. Let's not sugarcoat it. They're like, there's a reason why Chris Paddock didn't pitch yesterday and they did a bullpen game. It's because Chris Paddock has been getting lit up recently. And has lost every time he faced the Dodgers this year. I hope that I hope that's not the reason he didn't play. I hope the well, reason he well, didn't play. It is because because they because what they do is they look at the numbers. They go, okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Paddock's up next in the in the rotation. How has he performed against the Dodgers? Oh, wait, this really stands out. Not well at all. So here's an idea. Rather than put him out there and get him lit up and get his mind all screwed up, let's go in a different direction today. Here's why I don't like that. Because I I, I am taking the approach that they just didn't start him because he wasn't ready. But he's mm. pitching tomorrow. Not, n- right. So he's ready tomorrow? He because hasn't pitched in a week. Maybe he needed an extra day. No, man. No. It, it's because they're protecting him. But I'm with you, though, Browner. The thing is, if you're a competitor. Thank you. Which you kind of think you, you think of Paddock as being. What? If you're a competitor, you're like, Skip, okay. I haven't performed well against these guys thus far this year. You got to give me the ball. Yeah, if last mean, time out. Last time out in August was the last time he pitched, and he gave up six earned runs in three innings, and that's not good. If listen, if your name is the sheriff, okay, okay you gotta, well, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta take the mound, baby. So I'm taking, I'm looking at it from an approach was he physically wasn't right. They didn't run him out there because again, he's part of the future. So you're being cautious with him because if no. he's because if you didn't run him out there because they were the Dodgers, then no, that's no. then that's bad. That's bad no, organizational no. baseball. No, 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 no. They didn't run him out there because 
AJ Preller sits in his office and analyzes the numbers and says, against this team at this particular time, we'd be better served doing this with our pitching staff and saving him for this. And by the way, we're also going to, you know, if he gets lit up again, it's going to blow this kid's mind up. So we'll just go in a different direction today. We're, we're going to play the numbers. That's baseball today, Browner. And baseball's mm -hmm. not based on gut and based on who's next. Baseball's based on statistics and information. And that's why it's interesting because somebody had posted, um, somebody posted a question on Sided about what Jace Tingler should have done with Chris Paddock. Here it is. Here's the question. Is Jace Tingler babying Padre players too much? Um, he says, short lease on Richard's last start and having bullpen day on one of the biggest games of the year, to your point, right? Right. I mean, one of the biggest games of the year. If the, if the Padres win this game yesterday and then win this series, San Diegans are on fire with Padres fever. As it turns out, the fire was extinguished by one of those big-ass planes dropping fire <laughs> retardant on the fan base. So here was the question. Is Jace Tingler babying Padre players too much? Alex, it's in the news section. Uh, this on. is from a, a long-time great friend, a long-time listener who goes by the name of Jay Cation. I remember him. And, yeah, cool guy. We met him at yeah. the Super Bowl, remember? Met him at the, on the boat. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, he came on our boat trip. So um, is Jace Tingler babying Padre players too much? And the, the answers were yes, he should have told Paddock to suck it up and pitch game three against the Dodgers, or no, he knows more about what's going on than the players and the fans do. More about what's going on with players than the fans do. I was like, yeah, he's babying these guys. Put Chris Paddock in that game. Here, I mean, that. If, and, if, and by the way, Jay, but just one thing, Jace Tingler, Jace Tingler is not the decision maker. He's not, he's not doing things like, Hey, you know what? I've made a decision today. We're going to go with a bullpen day and we're going to, we're going to give Chris Paddock a day. Jace Tingler is managing. They should really call him the assistant manager because AJ Preller makes these decisions. That's why you hire an assistant manager to just do what he, what he's told rather than hiring a Bruce Bochy. Look, if you're going to tell me that they didn't play this kid because statistically he did not do well against the Dodgers, I would tell AJ Preller to stop being a nerd and put the damn calculator down and let this kid get on the mound and show you what he has. Because at the end of the day, like we all, like we agree, they may have to beat the Dodgers. And if he's one of your best three or four pitchers, at some point he's going to have to face them. So why not do it now? Than to try to save him for later. There's no, there's nothing meant. You're just building up a bigger mental wall against the Dodgers. If you hold him out against the Dodgers, you let him go out there and try to get a groove against them. Try to find his way on the mound. You don't hold him off to the side and just hope, well, we'll play him again. We'll play him tomorrow. Hopefully he dominates tomorrow and he'll get his confidence back. No, he won't because you're taking the confidence away from him. Don't be a nerd, man. The game is played on the field. The game is the full of nerds. The game is not. That's why nobody watches. Okay, <laughs> Alex. All right, Alex. Okay, voice of reason us, will you please? Browner doesn't know anything about baseball, and I know less. <laughs> okay, so so what do I know? So, well, uh, nothing, but uh, but just slight, slightly more in terms of in terms. Listen, bottom line: if you go through the numbers, okay, yeah. is the evidence such that Paddock's performance against the Dodgers? would warrant the Padres to say, we don't want to pitch him against this team. Not right now. Right. I think it's a combination of that. I think it's a combination that he did have that ankle injury, whatever it was his last time out. I think those two things combined, but more of the Dodgers thing. Because I was reading that he was ready to go. So I think it's more like, I don't want to throw this kid out there who's really finishing up his first season right now as far as games started. So why rush it out there? What I don't understand though, and maybe someone can explain this to me. Maybe I sound stupid right now on AM 1090. I don't know. But why is Garrett Richards all of a sudden a bullpen arm when the season's still going on? I understand that you're looking at things, and you're. we are all pretty sure that the Padres are going to be in the playoffs. But Ain't, ain't no pretty game, sure. Ain't no pretty game, sure. But they haven't clinched yet. So what I'm saying ain't no, is – Ain't no pretty sure. Have some confidence. Say Why it. didn't Garrett Richards start last night or yesterday? And why is he coming in for one inning in the middle of a bullpen day? Like why Garrett Richards is a starter. Like now he's going to be our long relief guy in the bullpen. What I don't understand is why are you doing bullpen days when Garrett Richards is right there? At least let him go out there and give you your four innings again. I don't understand that move. 
Um, and we've talking about like, oh, Paddock's your top three or four pitcher. Paddock is not pitching in the wild card. Like that's just not going to happen. It's going to be it's going to be Clevenger. It's going to be Lamette, and it's going to be Davies. Paddock is going to get not he's not going to get a start in, the, in one of those three games. Let me ask you a question. X, what was their record on bullpen days? Because I know you know it's not good. I don't. I don't know. Four and zero. Four and zero. The Padres' record on bullpen days was four and zero. <laughs> so a fact. Look it up. Look at uh, until, fake I mean, news? obviously until yesterday. How can I look it up? How can I look it up? Google. Duh! Come on, man. Information. You, you, uh, you, y'all baseball nerds. You the baseball nerd, according to Scott. Look it up. Okay, I I'm know. Having, I'm having a, I'm having a whole Google problem, by the way. Every time I, I go to Google and I pull up the Google.com like website, which I assume is the Google search engine. Every time I type something into Google, it winds up going to yahoo Uh oh you gotta go i hate that (laughs) your 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 preferences yeah your your settings is all off man who did that to you somebody hates you man it makes me nuts i I freaking go crazy i can't stand it so what do i do i don't even go to yahoo and i like safari are you on chrome yeah all right let's do this on air screw it hit the little three dots on the top right you see the three dots on the top right they're stacked on top of each other are you on chrome yeah Go all the way to the top right of the screen. You see yeah. there's three dots. Nope. Oh, my God. This is terrible. <laughs> this is so terrible. Okay, we'll do this later. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we'll do this later. Oh. <laughs> nope, I don't. Oh all right, God. so is, are there statistics to say that the Padres were really awesome with bullpen starting days? Yes. It, okay, look at the... Look at the numbers. Look at the metrics. The metrics will tell you that they are four and zero on bullpen days. This is I okay. I liked what they did because I don't think that's true. Because okay, look it up, <laughs> tough guy. Look it up. You I, it, tough I, guy. I, don't I, believe you. Guy. I like yeah, what they did. Guy. I like what they did because that those guys that's going to be their role during the playoffs. They're going to be coming in during spots. So let's start doing that now in a series where it counts, where it matters, where there's energy, where there's where, there, where there's uh what's the word I'm looking for? Not I energy. Don't know. There's uh, uh, tension, what you're talking pressure, about. pressure, bam, bam. A series where there's pressure, where these guys are taking them out in very important situations where they have to get out, like in the postseason. I like what they did. I thought that was a very good idea. It just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Yeah, well, you you remember, you're the guy that came into this series going, hey, if they don't win it, no big deal. And remember that after game one, everybody's like, oh, my God, dagger. Here they come. We're about to overtake the Dodgers. I was getting trolled. I was getting trolled on Twitter last night by people going, Where are you? Where are you at? Man, are you okay? Man, I thought you were having a heart attack on on Monday night. What what Padres Padres pulled this win. And I disagreed then. I still disagree. They should have gone for the series win. If you tell me they were 4 0 with bullpen days, I'm going to have to do some research. All right, hold on. We'll keep this going. 